Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see how batch processing will be happen. So let us say we have a requirement like we may have, for example, in this uh, application, in this workflow, I'm taking the sample data of 10 records in the database. So uh, what if we have a requirement over some lakhs of records? For example, say we have two lakhs of records where we have a requirement where we will retrieve the data from there and then convert it into XML. So it is very hard or it will be time taking purpose or whenever uh, wherever it misses we have a problem. So I have come up with a small solution with a batch process. First of all, I would like to show you what is my data in my MySQL database. So there is a table called country where I have ID, country name, population and image. For time purpose, I am taking only ID, country name and population. So I have 10 records. So, so the, uh, for the, this particular application, I am taking 10 records. But in real time applications, we may have, uh, go through like you know, some lakhs of records or thousands of records. So here I am showing you a flow called batch. So there is a HTTP connector where I am going to call this particular flow. Okay. So. Um, First of all, uh, I'm I'm placing uh, you know I'm setting an XML flow uh, which starts with you know index called a index value. So I'm giving this I'm setting the payload XML version equal to 1.0 encoding is equal to UTF-8 and I'll start with the indexes. So in that indexes I have number of index which comes from database. So in each index property we will be having these values in each index property i have a property called id country name and population so now after this set payload i am setting a file means i am writing these files into one particular location so that it will be saved into that particular file so every time every run it will go write the first record come back go write the second record like that so you will come to know in the further connectors. So I am placing a path in place folder and I am naming it as text.xml. So here you can see I do so I have a place folder here. Right now I don't have any text.xml file. It will create automatically. Make sure that your file is checked as output append so if you keep it uh, generally by default it may be auto delete because if one record is writing and come back again and write to file it will auto delete and then it will add only one record so add, ultimately after a whole completion of flow we will have only one record so don't uncheck the auto delete and keep output append so that it will append to the particular uh, file so I have a database here what particularly here I am I want to know is the count of the records so I am taking as select star from test dot country and then I am setting the variable for the size of records so generally payload dot size gives the size of records means total number of records so that I will be using in my further expression tab so here in expression I just want to make you know now here the logic behind this uh, our flow is I will be iterating it over the for each loop. So, for example, here I am taking payload rows equal to total number of pay payloads. So, here the value might be 10. So, here I am taking a temp var where the temp var value will be 10 by 5, 2. Here I am making a logic that every for each loop will get two records, fetch the two records right into the file. So again go fetch two records right into the file so that for each loop counts for i mean iterates over five times it is all all about your you know you are necessary how you will be how your logic you are going to build you can keep it as 10 and you can keep uh, run this for each loop over one time every day so what if you have uh, you know some one lakh records then i will keep here as 1 lakh records by 5 instead of 5 I will give thousands means I wanted it to run like every for each loop it should read 1000 records and write 1000 records so I am here initiating start counter as 1 and then end counter as 0 so in the for each loop 
here I am giving total row column counter and batch size equal to 1 here I am after that I am giving an end counter plus 2 uh, you know I will show you this in full process while debugging so that you will understand clearly so in the database I am taking select country name ID population from test.country limit start counter comma end counter this is mysql database so the query will be like this if what if it is ms sql server here it will be where a row between 1 and 1 and 2 or 1 to 10 something like that okay then i have a java java component over here what i am doing here is i am going to uh, write a java class where you know this is my java class where my object is a payload which comes from database then i am using a velocity context velocity transformer where i will be adding the payload over here so i am creating a small template over here called text.xml this text.xml has for each records in payload index here every record i am adding over here so final record will be something like index id1 population some 1 2 3 country name india next another index something like that so it will iterate we are taking that payload and we are appending over here this happens with my velocity transformer here i am using it so if you want this code you can just mail me i'll uh, mail you the code how to append this okay then if you go back to the flow i am using another expression to change the start counter value for the next counter so next it will be limit 2 to 4 start comma start counter comma and counter next it will be 4 to 6 like that it will iterate over 5 times then every in every iteration i am going to write the uh, xml you know those two records will be written into xml then setting to setting a payload because i need to close the indexes value which i have started over this payload at the starting okay then end of file i'm going to end it place it in the same test.xml so now see there is no test.xml i'm just running the application it's already in running state so let me hit batch so batch it is running you can see here you know it is written over five times every two total 10 records every time it is writing two records if you go here it is done and if you open your local file we see test.xml if you just open it we got our desired output see here xml version in this is the indexes this part this first line we have used in the set payload then index this part index thing is there in our template where we are using like a record dot id record dot population record dot country name so there are over 10 records all 10 records are appended and at last if you see it will be index indexes so very simple uh if you feel like you know you want you need this code or something like that you can just subscribe it and you can comment out if you have any queries on this okay Thank you so much.